Hey everyone, today we have Anzuman Acharya, who is a program manager on Teams for security and compliance. He'll be taking us through a demo of how to use the audit log search functionality in the security and compliance center. To be able to follow along, you'll need a Microsoft Teams instance that has had some activity and the role of view only audit logs assigned to your account. Hey, hello everyone and uh... Welcome to a quick video on how to use the audit log search functionality in the Security and Compliance Center for Microsoft Teams. I'm Anshuman Acharya from the Microsoft Teams Program Management Team, and I'm the PM that owns the Information Protection, Security, and Compliance capabilities in Microsoft Teams. So here I am uh, logged into my test tenant, teamsforthewin.com. And you can see my login here, ANACH, that's also my Microsoft alias. From here, I'll move on to the Security and Compliance Center, which I'm already logged in. Um, now, before you start searching or going into the audit log search functionality, it's very important to know about permissions. So there's really two places where you have to make updates before you can give your users access to audit log search. Now, if you are the tenant admin, you already have access by default, but in a lot of cases, tenant admins may not be the right people to go searching for audit logs for a particular workload. So you need to make sure that the view only audit logs permission, which is part of a few role groups in the security and compliance center is assigned to the people that you want to be able to search the audit logs. In this case, it's assigned to Anshuman and Dan Stevenson here in the security and compliance center. But if you read this sentence here, it says to assign permissions for archiving, auditing and retention, Go to the exchange admin center and why does it say that so i'm here in the exchange admin center and you can see there's also a permission called view only audit logs because of the design of the audit log search functionality and its genesis from exchange the underlying commandlet that is used to search for audit logs is actually an exchange online commandlet and therefore one must also assign the view only audit log search permission in the exchange admin center to particular users along with the permission that's assigned over here in the security and compliance center. And all of this is documented really well in the help article searching the audit log in the Office 365 security and compliance center. So if you look at the before you begin section, you will be really clear about how to set this up. We will include a link to this documentation towards the end of this video as well. Moving on, this is the audit log search functionality. Let me show you how I reached it. So under search and investigation in the left rail in the security and compliance center, and note that I'm still logged in as Anshuman Acharya in my demo tenant, teamsforthewin.com. There is the audit log search right here under search and investigation. So once you go there, if you look at the activities that are audited, different workloads have a set of different activities that are audited. For Microsoft Teams, we audit around 20 activities here today and we have things like create a team, delete a team, add a channel, delete a channel, and a host of other activities that made sense in terms of monitoring at an admin level. So we audit all of these. Now what I've done is I've selected a few activities here and I've picked up a time range from December 1st through December 16th, and I've clicked on the search button here already. And these are the results on the right side in the grid. So if you see, let's pick one event and look at how it looks like. So we have the added members to team event. So it says the activity is that the team members were added to new TWT test team. And the user who did this was Dan Stevenson. If you click on the event, it gives you details fly out and you can get more, more information about the event. So in this case, there were actually a few members that were added to the team in this one operation. In Microsoft Teams, um, you can add in a bunch of members at one time into a team using either a DL or a security group. And this likely was one of those operations because if you look here, there were several people added to the team in the same operation and all of their roles are also mentioned. Now role number one means member and I know that because I designed this. But if you look at the audit log search detailed documentation, you should be able to get information about what each of these variables and fields mean. So the operation was called member added. 
and the workload which is denoted here is Microsoft Teams that helps you identify this event versus other events from other workloads. Now, I also wanna draw attention to the fact that these, these events here are team events, but there are also events related to files uh, in SharePoint and there are also events related to groups. Now, if you know Microsoft Teams, the way we are architected, every team underneath is also a modern group. So these operations are also very useful sometimes in looking at what's going on with a team. Because if you look at what's going on with a group, you can also look at and understand what's going on with the team. So these are over here, sharing and access request activities and folder activities and file activities. So all of these apply to Microsoft Teams as well because Teams, show, Teams stores its files in SharePoint Online as well as OneDrive for Business. So if you're interested in understanding the activities that are happening to files inside of Microsoft Teams, you can use these events. And this is the reason we decided not to create separate file related events for Microsoft Teams because they were already being logged by SharePoint and OneDrive for Business. Now, there is an ability to filter results here using the fields in the grid and that just does a UI filter for all the events that are in the grid. If you wanna export these results, you can export the ones which are loaded in the grid or all results out to a CSV file and perform further analysis. But if you use a seam tool and you wanna take this data out of this system and into your own system, you can use the Office 365 Management API, which is well documented and you can use the management API and pull all audit log events out into your seam tools and you can use that to do further analysis in other tools outside the security and compliance center. Also wanna let you know that Microsoft Teams events are now NRT, which means near real time. So the time lag between when an event actually happens on a Teams client or a Teams UI and the time it shows up here is about 30 minutes only. With that, I will end my session. Thanks a lot for watching and we have lots more events coming. Thank you very much for your patience and have a good one. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. I've added some links here that Ansem presented during the presentation. Thanks for joining us for this tech tip about Microsoft Teams. Join the conversation on our community forum at aka.ms Teams Tech Community. We read or use a voice form daily, so make sure your voice is heard and you're voting for your favorite feature requests. If part of your job is to drive adoption of any Office 365 product, the Driving Adoption Forum is for you. To learn more about the implementation of Teams, use our practical guidance at successwithteams.com or get assistance from our fast track teams.